Hi my angels, in today's video I'm going to be going through my bucket list with you guys. Um, I know that I've had videos before where I've journaled and stuff, but I thought I'd go through kind of each one, maybe individually, tell you guys kind of a little bit more about myself. And this is kind of like Christmas slash New Year's inspired because as you guys know, New Year's Eve is coming soon. It's a time where a lot of people make New Year's Eve. Reser is it reservations? Is is that the word? New Year's Eve's reserv no not reservations. Ren not renovations. I don't remember what they're called. But I was thinking that one of mine is going to be to try and get some of my bucket list done. Now I obviously can't do all of this like in one year and some of it I won't even be able to do because it has to do with traveling and stuff. But let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing on my bucket list is I want to learn sign language. For those of you who have like followed my channel for a while, you know that that's something that I'm actively doing. I don't really know when I'm going to say that I know it because even like with English, for example, um, it's my first language and I'm still, even now, I still learn a new word like almost every day. So I feel like ASL is the same thing where, you know, I'm probably going to learn new words all the time and there's also new words being made and discovered like how the word selfie back a couple of years ago was added to the dictionary asl has the same thing where new things are added all the time but i think for me it's more just when i'm able to like go out in public and i'd actually be able to have a conversation conversation with somebody who is deaf with minimal having to spell things because i don't know how to actually say them um, the second one is going skydiving, which I'm a very, like, timid and safe person, so that one's really weird to be on my bucket list, but it's something I've wanted to do since I was a little girl, so. Um, the next one is, to, like, <laughs> drive a race car, which I think I'd like to do it just once. Maybe go to, like, I think in Toronto they have, like, race tracks where you can go and, like, just drive, like, once around. I'm, I think, I'm assuming you have someone in the car helping you, but... I also would like to go to Venice, or like Italy, and Australia, and Quebec, um, so just, there's a couple different places I'd like to travel to, and then, oh, start a blog, I actually did that one already, okay, um, I'm not as active on my blog as I would like to be, but you should definitely <laughs> check that out, I also have a podcast which i think that was on here too was to start a podcast um start a youtube channel i did that one hi <laughs> welcome to my youtube um okay so next i have to go to Li african lion safari it's this safari kind of like it's not too far away from me i think my mom said it's about 40 or 45 minutes and it's similar to a zoo except for it's not like the animals aren't in cages like enclosed they're in like these huge it's almost like it's it's open if that makes sense like it's a lot more at least from what i remember um it's been years since i've been there but it was a lot more like animal friendly so um i like going there because then i'm not like oh the animals are being mistreated because they have like a lot of space they have a lot of i mean like a whole lot of space I remember me and my mom went through the lion enclosure when i was younger and it took like a good like 10 minutes to get from one end of it to the other like it was huge now mind you as little kids i might not have been quite 10 minutes but like it was a long time so i want to go there again um and then I want to master a recipe. I think I want to master both a baking and a cooking recipe. I know I made homemade cupcakes one day and I was actually pretty good at that. So I'm thinking that might be my goal for the baking one. As for the act, like the not baking recipe, like the cooking recipe, I'm thinking something with chicken. Because I'm pretty good at cooking chicken. So um, learn how to jumpstart a car as well as change a tire. I don't want to... I'm actually going in January to get my license, which me luck on that one, but I want to, if I'm driving and, you know, my car, like, breaks down in the middle of the road or something, I want to know how to do these things myself, just basic car repairs. Oh, also learning how to drive. 
that would kind of go hand in hand with learning how to fix a car. I guess I could fix a car without knowing how to drive it, but I, yeah, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, visit a museum. I think I mean both like an art museum as well as a history museum. I think both of those would be really cool. I know me and my mom tried to go to the art museum in my town a little while ago, but whenever we went, it always seemed to be closed. So... Um, the next one is to solve a Rubik's Cube. I technically have solved a Rubik's Cube before, but I want to do it again. Um, I don't know why. I just... I do. <laughs> Fly a kite. I've never actually flown a kite before. Um, I don't. No, actually, now that I say that, I might have flown a kite. Have I? I don't know. I want to donate blood. I uh, learned to dance, which I used to, I was on a dance team in school, so it's not so much that I want to, like, learn to dance, it's more like I want to relearn how to dance. I want to volunteer somewhere, learn to play guitar, oh, I want to kiss in the rain, get married and have a family, run a 2K. Can't run to save my life. Um, literally. I hate running. I've always hated it, but I want to, at one point in my life, be able to run two kilometers because that doesn't sound very far to me maybe one kilometer but i want to go stargazing write a novel which i've worked on or i'm working on sorry fly in an airplane because i've never been in an airplane be able to buy a house own a dog eat at a five-star restaurant that one i don't quite know what i meant by that because i feel like i've oh i think i more meant like not so much five stars like what it's reviewed i mean five stars like a fancy restaurant, which I actually, I think I technically did that one. The restaurant I'm thinking of might have been closer to four stars. So I want to plant a garden, be part of a play, both on stage and off. Okay, for the next few, I want to build something. I don't quite know what I meant by that. I think it just was anything. Like when I was younger, technically, I built a birdhouse or just something like that i want to go apple picking um learn how to ride a pike because i don't actually think i know how to do that i kind of like sort of learned when i was like 12 or 13 and then i did it for like a year and then i stopped and i was never really that good at it in the first place so i don't actually know if i know how to ride a bike um i want to read under a tree which that one seems very like easy i could just put on a sweater and do that maybe not tonight it's very dark out <laughs> i want to make tie-dye clothing create a scrapbook make homemade ice cream actually that one let me know down below if you guys would be interested in seeing a video of me making homemade ice cream i want to go paint balling learn to rollerblade take a painting class i did that once a couple years ago but i want to do it again because we only learned how to do one painting i don't remember how and so i'd like to do it again i'd like to do a home workout again i i could do that tonight host a game night um play mini golf which again i've done that but i want to do it again go for a hike visit a farmer's market read more books be an extra in a movie find a four-leaf clover have a water balloon fight that will not be happening in the winter start a podcast which again i did that one so shameless self promo well, you guys should check that out and while you're there also subscribe both to my youtube channel and follow me on all my different accounts and yeah um have a christmas tree which i have that one um i want to master public speaking which again i don't know what considers someone to be a master at something i know at one point i heard somebody say that the difference between um a professional and an amateur is a professional gets paid which i don't know if that necessarily like i agree with that but like okay um and then my last one on here is to find my dream job so that is my 54 different bucket list items i'm definitely going to like add more to it and it's nice to kind of see like there's a few of them that i've checked off already where i can kind of be like okay no i did that or like there's other ones that are like really easy to do 
so it's kind of nice to go through and it just kind of it's nice to do things like this because it gives you a sense of accomplishment and i like the thing about bucket lists it's, it's kind of similar to a goal but for me goals are more i set smart goals so like the specific measurable attainable i think it's reachable and then time so they're more like you have to get it done within this period of time and like it's so specific whereas for this it's just fly in an airplane that's it fly in an airplane i could go anywhere i just don't like i want to fly in an airplane next year i just at one point in my life i want to fly in an airplane so it's kind of nice to be able to check things off and it kind of reminds you to like take a step back and appreciate the little things in life like flying a kite I, most people wouldn't think like oh a goal of mine is i want to fly a kite but when you put it in a bucket list it's very it's kind of soothing i guess but yeah that is my bucket list as well as some of my 2020 goals um i think we're on new year's i'm actually let me tell you guys exactly what my river river, river. Oh, what is that word okay we're gonna be looking this up give me a moment new year's eve or new year's resolution that's the word i'm looking for resolution but yeah i'm going to maybe film a video where i talk about what my actual new year's e what my actual new year's resolutions are i also think i'm going to film a video where i show you guys everything i got for christmas and for those of you who are subscribed and you follow me every week i'm really sorry about missing last week's video i just didn't have anything that was filmed and edited that was good and i felt like my past couple videos had kind of been subpar and i want to make sure that i did something that I was proud of and so I just I took a break I need to get caught up in some things from when I had been sick and yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this comment down below maybe what a couple of your bucket list items are and what your like favorite bucket list item of mine was I hope you stay safe and healthy cheers